Count them down. Five, four, three, two, one, done. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm out on the Port Acking River to fish sunrise to pretty much sunset this afternoon. Chasing obviously early morning snapper, see how we go there. Then chase some squid and some flathead. Head back into the uh, river for the middle part of the day all the way to hopefully the end of the day. So that's the plan for today. We'll see how we go, hey? Take long for a ride. <laughs> So we're jibbing here and uh, obviously we're going to target some shallow water snapper that's the plan i've got two setups i've got my normal soft plastic shallow water snapper setup and then i've got my squid on a my, uh, chase bait squid on a very very heavy jig head that i received from tackleclub.com.au don't forget to use code lunatics10 to get yourself 10 percent off your first month with tackleclub.com.au so Hopefully we can uh, reposition the boat now and make a really, really nice drift across these, hopefully, snapper. Fish on. Just lightly poke that in front of his face. A little twitch in front of his face and bang. A bit rocky, coming up like a plastic bag. Yeah. There. Yeah. Went off at the start. Could be a snapper. Fake. Mother in law. See yeah. ya. All right, so a bit of a quiet start at Jibbin this morning, so I'm going to head off to Mary's Reef, try the shallow waters around there. I haven't really tried around there for plastics for a long time now, so I've always been wanting to head over there since I've had all this success at Jibbin and try over there, Oswald Shoal, patches, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to head over there um, slowly and try for there for the next, let's say, hour, and then I'm going to switch tactics, go for squid and flooded. So, yeah, let's go do that. Fish, nothing special. Up, oh, silverfish. See you, buddy. I think I've got a snapper on. Oh, that's no, a big bait. Oh. See you, mate. All right, so no luck this morning on the snapper. Tried both places with no luck. Heaps of rock cods, heaps of Sergeant Bakers, a few pike and all that sort of stuff. So a bit of a mixed bag, but no snapper. Um, again, another good lesson learnt. Look at the conditions. I'll look at the moon phases, tides, all that sort of stuff and see if there was anything different between now and when I have caught one or two in a session. So that's all we do. That's all you got to keep doing if you really want to target them. Rather than asking for spots and stuff like that, just go out, give it a go. Have a go at it, check the conditions, make sure that you're um, looking at what might be more consistent over the time. So yeah, it's all a learning process here. Many more hours on the water will be spent chasing these snappers. So yeah. Gonna get the drone up, head over to the flathead spot, hey? Okay?
First flathead, absolutely whacked it. It's a decent size one. You could be legal, buddy. You could. You're just legal. He's right on 33, so we're gonna give him, put him back. But beautiful sand flathead. See you, buddy. Came back. Feels like a better one. That is a better one. That could be a 36, 37. Yeah, here's our first legal. First legal, nothing special, just a 35, but good eating size sand flathead. Remember sand flathead here in New South Wales is the legal size. He's 33 and he's 35, so we're going to keep him. Yeah, there we go. Whoop! And we're on. <laughs> I mean, we're biting as I came back in. Oh, that's a good aerial. That, that's a good one too. That's what he Oh, he's giving us the full aerial show today. Oh, that's a big bastard. Yes. Have a look at these stonker. Absolute horse of a salmon this morning. 62, 63 centimeter one. My personal best. Absolute horse of a fish. I'm very, very happy with it. So I'm going to quickly put this guy back and keep trying to catch him. Hey, midday salmon. They've been very finicky, but today, for some reason, they must just be absolutely whacking them. See you, mate. Yeah. Fish on! Woo! Come on, buddy. Look at the arrow shot they give. Absolutely smacking it. Oh, there we go. Ooh! Yeah! There we go. Got one. He hasn't woken up yet. Now he has. There we go, jumping for the net. Woo! Look at that, he's not as big as the last one, but an absolute stonker of a salmon. How good is August here on the port hacking? So good, how good is it? How good is it here when the salmon come in on main bar? He's absolutely crushed. That little flip bait presentation, like I said. Three and a half inch streak, an absolute perfect setup there. So yeah, let's put him back, hey? There you go, buddy. Off you go. Woo! This is so much fun. They blow up literally right here. Hang on. Yep. Oh, pulled it out of here. 
Oh, look at him fight over it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Come on. Keep your head out of the water. That's it. Towards the net, please. There we go. Woo. That's another salmon. Second cast after catching that last one. Woo. Bit of aerial action. Gotta love it. Woo. And that drag singing. Singing. Oh, he chased me. I lost him, and I saw him chase it across the surface and grab it again. <laughs> oh yeah! Here we go, there's another one. Another slab of a salmon. Such a cool fish, man. So good, they fight so hard. They don't get their reputation because uh, people normally go for kings instead of these guys, but when there's no kings about, Jesus Christ, these guys are a bloody good second to them. So good. So good. Woo! Let's put this guy back. So there, buddy. That was a bit of dog. A bit of splash, you know, 9.8, something like that. Oh, my God. Race your tool. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Speed ya! <laughs> Come on! Whoa! Can't beat him today. No, oh, I should have done that. That's why you net your fish. Yeah. It's as easy as that today. Oh, man. look at it, it's a paddock of them right now. Oh, he fell off, did he? That's all right. Let's do this, that's what you do. Count them down. Five, four, three, two, one, done. <laughs> Oh, you cannot beat it! Keep your head up. That's it, over towards me, and thank your mother for the rabbits. Yeah, that's a stonker again, man. Whew. That was a fight. That was an absolute fight. This guy's a toad, man. Whew. So good. Let's get him back quickly, hey? See ya. Off he goes. So I changed over now to a flanker sinking stick, 115 mil from the Tuckle Club. Look at them all. They're just going ballistic all around the boat. Sinking stick. My tackle, tackle club. Remember, I use code Learn 610 to get 10% off your first month with tackle club. And uh, yeah, 115 mil, so 11.5 millimeter stick, singing stick bait, made for kings, bigger fish than the salmon. And it, I just literally cast, I couldn't even twitch it, and it was already done. Like, just absolutely crazy. There we go. Jesus! It's a stalker. This is the lure that did the damage at Fish In Flanker 115 sinking stick. Like I said, not made particularly for salmon and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, pretty hard not to uh, have fun with that. See you, buddy. Off he goes. <laughs> you can't beat it. Oh, yeah. I 
only a smaller specimen, but Jesus Christ, that's fun on, so on surface. Have a look at that. Pop up right in the corner of the jaw. Absolutely walloped it on surface. Cannot beat that today at all. So good, so happy with that. So much fun. See you, buddy. All right, well, before it gets too dark and it becomes sunset, I hope you all enjoyed the second challenge of the sunrise to sunset challenge that I've done here today. Gone out in the morning. Unfortunately, it wasn't the greatest of the mornings, but Jesus Christ, as soon as I got in here at about 10, 30, 11, it has turned it right on. Um, and these salmon have just been crazy. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed probably a couple episodes worth of this sunrise to sunset challenge. And uh, yeah, get yourself out here and give it a go, hey? Peace out. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Remember to go to tackleclub.com.au to get your 10% off your first month with tackleclub.com.au. They're a Lewis subscription box. Um, and yeah, some great, amazing sales. I would suggest, obviously, the saltwater estuary here if you're going to be targeting salmon and all that sort of stuff. But like you saw, the offshore lure absolutely smacked it as well. So there's them. Also, Seven Seas Apparel. I'm wearing the Dead Fish long sleeve here today. Um, remember, if you go to Seven Seas Apparel and use code LUNATICS10, you'll get 10% off anything across the Seven Seas range. They not just have clothing, they also have some lures and stuff like that. Stuff for the kids, stuff for the wife, stuff for everyone. So head over there, give them some love. Code LUNATICS10, get yourself 10% off while you're there. So, yeah.